Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Blue Monday, the most depressing day of the year, is right around the corner, but many Canadians may already be singing the blues when it comes to debt. So finance educator and consumer advocate Kelly Keene is here with some advice on beating those financial blues. Good morning yeah, to you, good Kelly. Good morning, Lena. I'm so glad you're here right now. I'm so glad to be here. Right? There's so many of us that are so anxious at this time of year because, yes, yeah. all those holiday bills are rolling in, and it can make us feel really depressed, can't it? Yeah, absolutely. The financial planning standards Cancel and Credit Canada uh, wanted to see, in fact, how blue people felt. And we found that Canadians, 53% of Canadians were saying that this time of year, they're feeling really, um, you know, just in the doldrums. Yes. And actually, that number went up to 68% for Whoa. those 18 to 44. So really? it's a thing. I mean, you know, we hear it, uh, uh, just even taking your vitamin D and all yes, that type of stuff. Yes. Like, there's a lot going on for Calgarians at this time of year. For it's sure. tough. But we want to, uh, you know, spread a little sunshine yes. on your finances today because little things really do make a big difference. And that's the number one thing I hear from Canadians is... Ugh, you know, they don't want to look at stuff. Right. Right. So a lot of people are waiting for the credit card bill to come in. Why are you not going online to be right. proactive and see? Yes. Um, or when that credit card statement comes in, Leah, just like kind of a lot of people, it's tough, right? It's really tough right yeah. now. And they may just not have enough money to right. pay it off, to even pay that minimum payment. Oh, gosh. So, That's a tough spot to be in for Yeah, sure. it is. And I, and I get that. Yes. You don't want to look at your finances when you're there. Yes. But it's not going to get better if you don't. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. so what's your piece of advice then? Where do we start? Okay, just like we would um, also uh, this, actually today, I think is ditch your holiday resolution. Yes, it is. We talked so about that. So I don't want that. you to ditch them. <laughs> I don't want you to ditch them. Um, if you were going to get into physical shape, you would do three things. You'd get on a scale as hard as it is to do right and you'd be honest you would count your calories because right. we know going to the gym is great but it's what you put in your body that's more important and you would get a personal trainer or a nutritionist or someone to help right. you same with your finances you've got to weigh in you've got to open the statements know where you are doing that worst statement you've got to get honest okay. I know it's hard yeah the number two count your financial calories oh. where's your money going for 30 days just track that Okay. I don't think budgets work, just like I don't think diets work. Oh. Just track where your money's going. So that awareness. In. Exactly. What but you I really doing? have to dig in. Yeah. Bank fees, all that type okay. of stuff. And then very lastly, get help. People are yes. not getting financial help. Get someone like a certified financial planner. You don't have to have money for that kind of a professional, right? right. They can yes. Some charge by the hour, some charge by the plan. I'm not one. I'm an educator. Um, yeah. Also, if, if debt is a really huge issue, you want to reach out to someone like a nonprofit credit counselor, like yes. Credit Canada. We've got money mentors here in, in Calgary. Make sure they're nonprofit. Yes. Uh, but don't don't suffer in silence. Right. Yeah. Because there's people out there that can help you who are educated in this area. They're the experts. And do We're not the day. experts, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. As you mentioned on the show before, you know, you wouldn't ask someone about your health unless they were a doctor or some kind of medical professional. You're saying do the same here. Well, and the thing, too, is we're kind of like back in the 1960s with money where we were with health, where we would whisper the word cancer. It was right. shameful. Now, today, we run for the cure. We have Facebook groups. We, we talk about it. And it's okay to talk about money. Yes. It's okay to talk about if you're going to go into an RSP or a TFSA or something like that. But when there's no money, right. when there's a lack of money, and that's what really creates a lot of these blues, who do you call if you can't make that payment? Right. Do you call your banker up? Do you do that? Are you able to negotiate your rate? Right. People are scared to do that. Right. So you have to get past that. Well, that's why I'm so happy to always come in exactly. and talk with you about this. Thank you so much for this, Kelly. Thank Great you. advice, as always. You're Thank terrific. You. We're going to go for a break here on Breakfast Television. When we come back, we've got more news, weather, and traffic. Stay with us.